Right, guys, if you've seen the fight, you know what I'm talking about. Joshua Bawatsi stops um, Bolotniks in 11 rounds. Joshua Bawatsi stops Bolotniks in, within 11 rounds. You know, fantastic fight, interesting fight, great test for um, Joshua Bawatsi moving through the ranks. After this, I want to see him against a much better fighter. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop your comments in the comment section below. If you've seen the fight, let me see what you guys are saying about this one. Were you impressed by Joshua Boatsy? Do you think it was a fantastic fight overall? What do you think about the event? Do you think Bolotnik's put up a good account of himself? Let me jump into it. So round one, you know, that is the only round that I actually gave to um, Bolotniks. He landed a good right hand in that round. He looked quite, you know, active. You know, I liked his movement, bending from the waist. Uh, uh, and things like that, trying to not foot like bob and weave, like maybe like Povetkin, so to say. But he was trying to trying to get that, trying to kind of offset, you know, Boatsy to try and make it difficult to, you know, set up his uh, jab, you know, and get a bit of a rhythm, you know. So I gave uh, Bolotniks that round, but from then on, you know, I think Boatsy kind of controlled the fight. You know, he was landing his jab quite well. You know, Bolotniks, you, you know, was struggling to land. He was constantly, constantly looking for overhand right. And was Bolotniks, and you know Boatsy was did a fantastic job of parrying the shots, par using his shoulder to block the shots. You know he'll catch the shots with his with his right hand. You know his right right hand he'll lift up his right hand catch the catch um Bolotniks hooks left hooks. You know fantastic defense. I didn't Bolotniks couldn't get through at all with anything of real purchase. You know in this fight. You know. He did well, obviously, you know, not to get stopped early. Like I said, he got stopped in round 11. But, you know, as the fight, you know, went on leading up to round 6, which I'm going to get to, you know, Boatsy, it was pretty much the similar kind of story. Bolotniks was landing, you know, a couple kind of, a couple shots just did well, landing some body shots. And um, Boatsy was using his jab very well, was landing, you know, Boatsy was quite landing his shots, like, obviously didn't land it as flush on Bolotniks before that like, round 6, but... You know, he was, you can tell he was ring general, you know, in that ring, you know, he's, it was pretty much a matter of time when he wanted to explode and land his big shots on Bolotniks. But, you know, the fight was, it was competitive. It wasn't like a one-sided fight. You know, the fight was uh, very competitive. So, you know, I can't really complain, but leading up to round six, Bolotniks dropped in devastating fashion, straight left hook. Like, I was like, he's gone. This guy is gone. Straight left hook to the canvas. Blotniks bang the canvas. Devastating knockdown. And somehow, somehow, this guy survives. I don't know. Some Most refs would have jumped in and stop it. The ref didn't jump in and stop it. He allowed the fight to continue. And, you know, Blotniks was, his legs were kind of gone. Obviously, he was leaning on the ropes. And I was like, is, you know, it's Eddie Hearn show. You know, you know, house fighter. But see, is the ref just going to jump in and stop it, wave it off. But... Ref, that's off to the ref, he gave Bolotniks a chance. You know, obviously, Bolotniks is known to be quite a, like a warrior. He literally caused himself that he was going to pull up a good fight. And, you know, he managed to survive and continue, and the bell went. Round six, I think uh, Boatsy had to take a breather, you know, because he, he unleashed a lot of energy trying to get Bolotniks out of there. So he kind of chilled, and Bolotniks didn't really take advantage of that. You know, he didn't take advantage of the fact that Joshua Boatsy was taking a, a, a round off. I feel like he was still trying to recover from his knockdown and process the knockdown and just not get dropped again because that was a flash knockdown. That left hook caught him. It was is it a right hook or left hook that caught him sleeping, you know, and just banged the canvas. And round eight, round nine came along, round 10, you know, Bolotniks looked like he was being a bit more active and I felt like he had to, he, you know, he started to put a little bit of a foothold more in the fight and I was thinking maybe this might go the full 12. And I was thinking if Bolotnik maybe should find a big right overhand right because he was looking for it all night. He should find it. Maybe Boatsy could be in trouble because he's starting to slow up a bit. Round 11 came. You know, you could see Bolotnik. He was cut. I think he had two cuts. You know, he's getting tired. His feet was getting slow. He wasn't bobbing and weaving as much as he was previously in the, in the uh, early in the fight. Boatsy landed the right hand on the ropes. Blotniks, not out of range enough, couldn't get out of range. I don't even think he really saw the shot, obviously, because of the cuts and stuff like that. Really well, I don't know. But big right hand, bang the canvas, fight was over. So, fantastic win for Boatsy. And these are the kind of fights he needs. You don't need to be fighting cream puffs that are easy. Knockover jobs, cream puffs, puddings, 
and these milkmen. He needs to be fighting guys that are going to put up some form of resistance and Balot needs to put up resistance because the Bivos of this world, the Baturbiyevs of this world, you know, even Anthony Yard, uh, what's Anthony Yard's of this world, uh, what's the, uh, you know, uh, you know, and all these guys, Craig Richards, Lyndon Arthur, they're not knockover jobs. They're going to be more difficult to tag clean. And the, these fights are probably going to go longer round. So this is a good fight on the books for Boatsy. So fantastic win. You have to wait and see what happens. What do you guys think about this fight? I think it was a great fight. A good progression fight for Boatsy moving forward. No more cream puffs, please. Big fights only. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me see what you guys are saying about this one. Big win for Boatsy. Solid win for Boatsy. What's next? Cool.